everyone, I'm Marina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a shop update preview. The shop update will be this Friday, July 3rd at 8 p.m. Eastern Time at PineappleYarn.com. I will have two speckled fade sets, uh, three new colorways, and a variety of fiber. So let's get started. I want to let you know that I've already filmed this twice and I've had major issues. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so bear with me and hopefully the third time is the charm. But the first colorway I want to share with you is called Hang 10. It's a really beautiful punchy colorway with some fluorescent mints and warm fluorescent corals and this really beautiful kind of a deep fluorescent purple. I love this colorway. I think it's so, so beautiful. And then it also has yellow and some deep, deep and bright blue speckles. So I really like this colorway paired with Coral Conch, of course, <laughs> one of my favorites. So I think these two are super pretty together. I think these two are so pretty together. And I also like it with Profound. So those three colorways together I think are so pretty. These two tonals are available in the shop right now. And Hang 10 will be available on Friday. I will also have it on my Noe Mohair Silk Base. So I think, actually, I think this would be beautiful layered over Profound for a really contrasting look. And if you paired it with Coral Conch, it would blend together more, but you'd have these pops of blues and greens. So lots of versatility there. The second colorway I'd like to share with you is called Coastal Strawberry, and it's a beautiful, warm pink blend, um, kind of light and deep tones of this beautiful warm pink. I was playing around with some color formulas and came up with this. I couldn't be happier. This is so pretty. And I'm going to pair it with um, two shades so you can kind of get an idea of where it falls on the color spectrum. So this is the, my colorway Princess. I don't know if you'll be able to see it completely on, on your screen, but this is this colorway Princess is a little more of a um, cooler pink. And so this one has some more warm tones in it. And the same with Bubblegum. Bubblegum just is a little more of a cooler pink, has a little more cool tones in it than the Coastal Strawberry. Obviously, they both look awesome with it, but I just wanted to give you an idea of kind of where it was warmth-wise. But then on the other hand, if you pair it with Coral Conch, you can definitely see the pink tones come out in the Coastal Strawberry. But I think they all look really pretty together. So I jumped up real quick to grab Glow Worm but I think Glowworm and Coastal Strawberry are so pretty together. That contrast is really gorgeous. And then when you pair that, this soft neon green with the Coastal Strawberry, it really makes the speckles in the Coastal Strawberry pop. It's so, so pretty together. And another thing I want to share with you, I will have all three of these new colorways on my Noe Mohair Silk Base. So four bases in total, these new colorways will be dyed on. But this is the Noe Mohair Silk. How pretty would this be with the underglow of the glowworm? Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. So that is Coastal Strawberry. And then the final colorway that I have for you today is called Hazy Sunrise. And this is a kind of a collection of really pretty clear um, pale paler colors 
Um, a lot of times when you see pale colors, they have gray undertones or maybe like tan or brown undertones. This one does not. This is very, very clear. These are very clear colors. So I hope it comes out on screen, but like this um, pale yellow is incredibly clear. Pale peach, pale lavender, they're all so pretty together. And I was really inspired, <laughs> if one can be inspired by this. I was very inspired by the Saharan dust plume that came over the, I guess, mostly southeastern part of the U.S. this past week. Um, I went to the beach this weekend, and it was incredible. The atmosphere, just the change in uh, the ocean looked different. I mean, everything looked so different. It was really incredible. So that's why I dyed this. <laughs> And I love this, paired with Pale Peach. I think these two really suit each other so well. And then I have uh, Pearl as well, which is a really pretty pale, neutral gray. I think those two look really pretty together. I think they would also look really good paired with the Noe base. So the Noe layered with the Pale Peach or the Pearl, those would look awesome. So that is Hazy Sunrise, and it is a new colorway that will be in the shop this Friday. So those three colorways, those are all new colorways that will be in the shop. And I'm going to go ahead and show you these speckled fade sets now. Um, the first one is Pink Champagne, and it is a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous 50 gram set. And so there are six 50 gram skeins in the set for a total of 300 grams. And it begins with some really kind of soft, clear neon pinks fading into pale peaches, and then finally into some warm caramel here at the end. And of course, they are all speckled. <laughs> One of my favorites. And I just love this fade. So this amount of yarn, this equals about three skeins of yarn. And I use the same amount, uh, not the same, exact same fade set, but a very similar, same amount, same weight of a fade set for my dotted raised shawl. And I've been talking about that the last few podcasts. Um, I will be showing it on my next podcast. That will be episode 77. So keep an eye out for that. But this is Pink Champagne. It just has really pretty spring feels. Um, it's a very feminine feel. Love this so much. My next speckled fade set is called Fuchsia Sunset. And this one has all the autumn feels, I think. It starts out with some really beautiful fuchsias fading into some spice colors. And then at the very end, you still have a little bit of the spice, but in a faded shade. And so it kind of goes from light to really saturated back to light, which I think is a really fun way to do a fade. So not only do you have the color fades, but you have kind of a, you know, the tones are fading the saturation is fading. I love this paired with pink hibiscus. I think this is such a pretty tonal for these colors. And I thought too, you know, if you are a knitter about the same speed as me, <laughs> where these big projects take a while, um, this would be so fun to pick up knit a project, knit a sweater, um, knit a beautiful shawl, and you would have this in time for fall. And that would be so fun to have a new fall garment or accessory. I know for me, I always want a sweater, a new sweater, maybe October, November, you know, when it really starts to get cool around here. And it takes me a while to knit. And so by the time I have the idea in November, you know, it's maybe January or February. <laughs> which is fine. It's still cold, but uh, yeah, it's always really fun to have that new autumn sweater. And if you, this is 300 grams, and so you could add a skein or several skeins depending on the size sweater you're knitting. Um, you could add that to this and just make like a really fun 
striped sweater or pick up a couple of these packs and do a fade. So this is Fuchsia Sunset. All right, let's hop into some fiber now. I have two custom blends that I wanna share with you. I ordered these uh, several months ago. So I've had these kind of, well, it took quite a while to receive but then also I've had them for a while, so I'm finally dying on my custom blends. And these are custom for pineapple yarn. Um, no one else will have these, so they're really special, and I'm so excited to share them with you. The first one, you know, kind of going off the fuchsia sunset and all the autumn feels for that, this is a Cheviot and Sari Silk blend. And Cheviot is a gorgeous, gorgeous fiber to spin. It's super crimpy, a long staple, not too rustic. <laughs> I use that in quotes. I don't want to use coarse or rough. Um, it is just a really gorgeous fiber. And so you have the texture of the Cheviot and then when you throw in the Sari Silk as well and have that blended in, not only do you get awesome tweedy textures in it, but you also get these amazing colors. So I'm gonna take this actually out of the package. I package all of my fiber loosely because then it's not compressed into a braid. I, I personally love storing my fiber that way. I'm gonna show you a close up. As you can see, all those textures are just gorgeous. This was so much fun to spin. I saved a fiber. I saved about 100 grams of this fiber. This is called Summer Fun. I should mention that. So in addition to the Cheviot and the, you know, the Rainbow Sari Silk, I applied dye over this and dyed it. So you get just an awesome texture, color experience. This was so, so fun. And I'll tell you, I had the best time spinning this. It ended up being a gorgeous skein. I did show it on my last podcast, episode 76. So check it out if you're interested. But this is summer fun on my Cheviot and Rainbow Sari Silk Blend. The next custom blend that I have to share with you today, I actually dyed up all three of my new colorways that I will be featuring this week in the shop update. And so this fiber is gorgeous. Like it's totally different from the Cheviot and Sari Silk. It has a very fine texture and I just, I absolutely love it. So here it is dyed up on the Coastal Strawberry colorway. And the fiber is a blend of Merino, Baby Alpaca, and Hollow Glitter. So it is very ethereal, it's very airy. It is absolutely gorgeous. You can probably see some of the sparkle in there. One thing I love about the amount of glitter or sparkle that I had um, put blended into this fiber is it isn't overpowering. So I, don't get me wrong, I am a sparkle fan, <laughs> but a lot of times when you are spinning and you have too much in your blend, it kind of turns into just a little coarser, maybe a little ropey. I don't really like it. I don't like the resolving texture. And so I feel like this is a perfect amount of glitter for this fiber. And then of course, Merino is Merino. It's gorgeous. We all love it. And Baby Alpaca just adds that kind of loftiness and softness to the blend. So this is that custom fiber dyed up in the colorway Coastal Strawberry. The next one is the same blend, the Merino Baby Alpaca and Hollow Glitter on Hang 10, the Hang 10 colorway. So you have those gorgeous purples and greens, the warm um, kind of fluorescent corals. And even though this isn't a superwash fiber, it doesn't have any nylon in it, you still get, I felt like this dyed up really well 
And um, I will show you a superwash merino nylon fiber here in a minute, but regardless, this still soaked up the dye and just, I, I love the colors. I love the saturation of them. I think they turned out really well. So this is hang 10. And then the final colorway on my custom blended fiber is called Hazy Sunrise. And this is very pale. You've got these gorgeous, clear, pale peaches and yellows. And kind of that blue lavender is gorgeous. This would be absolutely beautiful. And I feel out of all the colorways I just showed you, this one looks... It, the soft colors really suit this fiber. They really go together well. So that is Hazy Sunrise. All right, I have two more colorways to share with you. These are both end of the day colorways on fiber. And the end of the day line is where I use up all of my excess uh, dye from the previous dye sessions. Instead of just pouring them down the drain, I don't really like that and I love how the end of the day colorways always turn out. So this is end of the day number 48. And now this is on a Superwash Merino nylon. You can see how incredibly saturated and crisp the colors are because of the Superwash fiber. And I think the nylon just kind of adds to that as well. I love dyeing on Superwash Merino nylon. As a dyer, especially someone who loves the neons and loves the bolds and brights, this is very satisfying to dye on. <laughs> Not that I don't like, because I love like a good Cheviot or a Polworth. I love those fibers, but you are not going to get the really crisp lines like you would here. So I will have several of these in the shop. End of the day, number 48 on Superwash Merino Nylon. My final colorway is um, end of the day number 49, and it is on a BFL. And as you can see, this is not a super wash. And so you get some really pretty colors, some really pretty saturated colors, but they don't have the crisp lines like you would on the super wash merino nylon, which is fine because BFL is super fun to spend with. <laughs> it is just an awesome fiber. I love it. So I actually will only have one of these available. End of the day, number 49 on BFL. So that is it for this week. Such a fun update. I really hope you'll join me. Um, yeah, I will continue the next few weeks to dye quite a bit of fiber. I actually updated a lot of my dyeing equipment so I can dye a lot more than I was just a higher capacity. Um, I love how the fiber is turning out with it. I love how the yarn is turning out. And so I'm super happy with how things are progressing here in the studio. And it's just really exciting to see, um, yeah, to see everything progress. Before I go though, I almost forgot, I want to share with you the August club pre-orders. Um, it is the beginning of July, so those July clubs are closing and August is coming up and they are available right now on the website. So the first club I wanna share with you is the Glow Club, which is my yarn and candle club. It is a gorgeous beeswax and coconut oil candle. Um, it is my own custom wax blend. I love pouring candles. I know, it's crazy, but I do love a good candle when I'm knitting. So I decided to carry candles in the shop as well but it's just a gorgeous wax blend that I custom make myself. And this month's scent is going to be Fresh Peaches, which I'm super excited about. I thought it would be a really good August scent. You know, we just have such an ab abundant harvest, you know, in the months of like August, September, October. And South Carolina is actually one of the, or the highest producing peach states, which I think most people would probably think that's Georgia because it is the peach state, but it is South Carolina. So <laughs> I 
I decided to go with fresh peaches for my scent. And of course, it's going to be a gorgeous colorway, as you can tell from the mood board. It is going to be so much fun to dye. And so the glow club for this month will be fresh peaches. The next club is my Low Country Club, which is my club dedicated to the culture of the South. And I'm telling you, this food, I had to make it this food because I am craving it so badly. And so I decided, why not make it the colorway, get it out of my system? <laughs> but this month, it's going to be shrimp and grits, which is the Southern classic food. So delicious. And it will have all these colors in the mood board. Warm, a lot of warm colors. Um, I think there are some different tones of the, the fishing boat photo that's also included in the mood board. It's going to be so much fun to dye, such a challenge, and I'm really looking forward to dyeing that up for you. So that will be Shrimp and Grits. The next colorway, the next club is going to be my Sun Club, which is my bold and bright neon club. This is such a fun club if you are into the super bright and super bold yarns. And so this month I'm doing uh, mostly greens. So lots of different tones of greens, um, a little bit deeper, a little bit lighter. Um, I would say definitely more on a yellow green side and then it'll probably have some pops of um, maybe some red orange as you can see on the mood board. It's going to be really unique and just a really really fun colorway. If you are into neons or if you're into greens this is going to be a really great colorway this month. So that is my Sun Club. And then as I as I have had for the past several months I still have my vitamin C advent calendar for 2020. It is going to be decidedly non-holiday <laughs> related. It's going to be totally beach themed, very bright, very bold, um, no neutrals in this club. <laughs> so it is going to be just really, really fun. I have a total description on my website. I'll also link below. You can check that out. Um, yeah, it's such a fun club because I have lots of add-ons. So if you're really into this theme this year, you can add on the candle, you can add on a coordinating project bag, um, so many different uh, exclusive colorways, so many different bases that it's on so you can actually knit a garment out of this exclusive colorway that I'll be designing for the advent calendar. Yeah, there's a lot of different options. I love doing one theme and just really going all in <laughs> with the calendar. And of course the calendar itself is so fun. I put a lot of extras in it just to make it a gift in and of itself. So when you receive it, if you wait until December 1st to open it up, it is awesome. It is really, really fun to open. And so I would recommend checking that out. It will be available until probably mid-September or whenever it sells out. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. Again, my update will be Friday, July 3rd at 8 p.m. Eastern time at pineappleyarn.com. Please visit me on the website if you'd like to contact me, ask any questions. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to my newsletter, I will have photos of all the products that I had here. I will have you know names, pictures, a little bit of what's going on with me. So if you like to subscribe to the newsletter, that is always fun. I send it out every two weeks, so you won't get spammed with a ton of email. <laughs> but I hope you have a really great weekend. I hope you join me at the, at the update, and I will see you here next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.